Shard Tabletop has this neat little feature where you can change the environment of the map you are playing on without the, the need to re-upload a map and picking your tokens again and placing them wherever they need to be and doing all that stuff to get playing again. No, it is all done with a simple click of a button. Hi there fellow role players and game masters, my name is Mr. Tarask and I have my own YouTube channel where I review Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition third party modules and content like the stuff you see behind me. But today I am your host yet again for another tutorial on the Shard Tabletop channel and this is one of my favorite features of Shard Tabletop. It is changing a, the environment of a map while you are playing without actually stopping the game. And I am now in my Dungeon Master uh, screen as you can see, my, my GM screen. Uh, I will just quickly place a few of my uh, uh, people um, to the map, like I will add drop that and shroom tune to the map right here. They will be added to the map right here. Let's say they are uh, sitting at this big table. And this is a very cool map pack called the um, Adventurer's Guild Hall map pack. Battle map, sorry, the Adventurer's Guild Hall uh, battle map. You can see it right here on the um, the marketplace for Shard Tabletop. Always will only set you back $5 and I absolutely love it. It is an entire guild hall. As you can see, it has like this big chamber uh, for dining. It has chambers for sleeping. It has a kitchen area. It has like a battle plan area right here. It has a bathtub. It has a toilet even. I love dungeons and uh, uh, maps that have toilets because it just makes sense to have a toilet, right? Uh, it even has like a garden with your own uh, uh, stuff to eat and to grow and to like all kinds of vegetables and stuff. So it's really cool and really uh, well thought out. It has walls. It is this... Pure guild hall for your players to go to and to actually just have as a refuge or have as a home base to go to. But the cool thing is, when I open this map, I automatically have a bunch of alternate images that I can use for this map. So let's say my players go to sleep or whatever and it snows that night. All I have to do is click load map and go to uh, the alternate images tab right here. When I click alternate images, I will have all the alternate images that for the uh, guild hall, right? And one of them is the snow day guild hall. So now they wake up and suddenly everything is covered in snow and it just looks so ridiculously cool uh, on my screen right now. I absolutely love it. And there's so many more. Every time when I click this alternate image here, I can just select an image. Uh, there's an image called uh, Poisoned River. Uh, day daytime. It all it has like daytime stuff. It has nighttime stuff. This is the poisoned river one for uh, daytime. Absolutely love it. Uh, it gives like a new layer to the game. And as you can see, uh, there is also a poisoned river night uh, where the poisoned river is uh, greenish, shining greenish light in the middle of the night. So it's really creepy. But as you can see, my characters, wherever they are and whatever they are doing, it is all the same. Normally for another a virtual tabletop or uh, when you upload a new map, of course you have to reintroduce the tokens and you have to reintroduce like the monsters they're fighting. But if you want to change something around uh, with this feature, the alternate image feature, everything stays where it is. Right? Uh, I want to show you another one. So this one is, I think this one is really cool to have as an extra. It will fit in any campaign. Get, just give your players a guild hall. They can have their own guild and they can have people working there. They're paying them to make food or whatever. Uh, I will link it in the description below, uh, the uh, map pack, because I really, really love it. Another one is the... Um, Scarlet Citadel map pack. Scarlet Citadel, just a big shout out to Cobalt Press. I love Cobalt Press. Um, they have Scarlet Citadel, which is a classical feeling dungeon crawl. It's just released and it is amazing. I reviewed it on my channel recently um, and I just absolutely love it. It's sitting on my shelf uh, right here, as you can see. And it has... It is entirely mapped out on Shard Tabletop. And all, as you can see, all of the encounters are right here. Everything you need. And they have like, for example, this one. This is already the alternate image. Uh, there is this time travel part. Uh, long story short, your players will go to uh, this room. 
and they will encounter this room empty. But they will learn that there is a time travel machine sitting right here, but they can't see it. And that is because it's not sitting there at that time, at that point in time. So it's sitting there in another point in time. Yes, Cobalt Press used time travel, and it's very dangerous to use time travel in your campaigns, but they did it. Um, then if your players... Um, go up to it and want to see it and try touching it. There's nothing there, probably. But then suddenly, maybe the time machine returns to the present. And then, well, it's very easy. You just go to alternate images, load map, alternate images, time construct. And suddenly, the time construct is right here, um, standing there. Just It's these little things for these maps that make Shard Tabletop such a conveni convenient tool to use. All you need to do is select a alternate image and they have an alternate image for every level in this dungeon. This is like a mega dungeon. It is filled to the brim. It has a story, an overarching story. It is so ridiculously well thought out and well built and every level of this dungeon is completely mapped out with alternate images like puzzle rooms that change around and there is this this magical uh, uh, prison that, that suddenly pops out of nowhere and stuff like that. Uh, Cobalt Press did a very good job on uh, creating that kind of stuff for uh, Scarlet City so I just wanted to show you those two. Now, another cool little feature that I like is if I go back to the guild hall. This is the um, thumbnail image of the guild hall. But as you know, this is not the last image that I selected. So it would be very inconvenient that when I clicked this guild hall, it would go to this picture. The one you're seeing in the thumbnail. That would be super inconvenient because we're not doing that at that point. So when I click guild hall, it will automatically go back to the last alternate image that I used for the guild hall. So see guild hall as some sort of overarching name for an entire set of images. And that is a little feature, that is a little thing that I absolutely love on Shard Tabletop and I just wanted to get out there because you, as a dungeon master, you should really use it because it makes the game so freaking fast. Normally, if your players would wake up in snow, you'd have to go uh, upload a different map um, with like the snow map and then reselect your tokens, put them in the right place and do everything. And that's just really inconvenient. So I want to show this to you guys. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you want to see me cover some parts of Shard Tabletop that you're not really getting, make sure to put that in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up, click the subscribe button for more uh, tutorials. I see you in the next video.